In this video, we are gonna take a look at a cool new way to discover content for your Unity projects. Unity has partnered with Resini on the creation of Unity Visual Search, a breakthrough 3D visual search engine for Unity. Unity Visual Search understands the precise structure of 3D assets so that you can quickly find the right assets for your project. You can search for 3D assets using simple text phrases as you'd expect, but because it's a visual search engine, you can also use objects from your scene or your own 3D primitives to find visually similar objects on the Unity Asset Store. Once you find something you like, you can preview it in your scene before you decide to purchase it without having to download the entire package. You can prototype with primitive objects like cubes and spheres using placeholder assets from the Unity Asset Store or by creating geometry in ProBuilder. With Unity Visual Search, you can discover finished, visually similar, game-ready assets to take your prototype to the next level. This allows for an incredibly quick and intuitive process of transitioning from a gray box style prototype to a polished vertical slice or finished game. Let's take a look at how it works. First, we want to make sure that the Unity Visual Search plugin by Resini is installed. You can download it for free from the Unity Asset Store using the link in the description below. Once we do that, we'll be prompted to log into the Unity Asset Store to enable searching. With that done, we can open the Unity Visual Search window, which is where our search results will be displayed. In this window, you can start your search by typing the name or kind of object you are looking for. Let's try robot and see what we have. What makes Unity Visual Search really different is that you can drill down into search results, find an asset that looks interesting, and discover other assets that are visually similar if I like this shape, I can click on it. And if it's not exactly what I have in mind, I can click similar shapes to see what else might work. Rather than going page by page on the asset store, you can now search by text and preview hundreds of thousands of models on the asset store without needing to download their packages. Alternatively, you can also use an existing asset in your project to query the search engine. In this scene, we have a spider bot from our internal demo project, Angry Bots 2. Let's say we want to find another spider bot like it to add to our game. If we right click on the spider bot, we'll now see an option called Unity Visual Search in our context menu. Selecting it from the menu will begin a visual search. First, the existing spider bot will be uploaded and processed and then a search will begin. Here, we can see that the search has begun to return a number of similar robots. Funnily enough, we can see that the second search result is the spider bot from the original Angry Bots demo project. So we can see the visual search has definitely detected some similarity there. More interestingly, perhaps, we can see that visual search has found many objects that are not exactly the same, but similar. And this is where you can see the power of visual search and AI. As we can see, the algorithm has suggested many things that are both quite similar, but also a bit different. Looking through these, we can begin to find some interesting creative options for content to add to our game. When we find an option that we like, we can either continue to search for similar shapes, or if we click on it, we can quickly view additional information about it in the Asset Store from within the Unity Editor. At this point, we want to quickly get a feel for how it will look in our game. Being able to rapidly experiment with and iterate on ideas is a key enabler of creativity, and Visual Search has some powerful tools to support this. If we click and drag the asset from the visual search window, we can view a multi-sided billboard style preview of it directly in our scene. We can manipulate this preview using our familiar editor tools to scale, rotate, and position it in our world. This allows us to get a feel for if it will work for us creatively. 
This works well using our finished original SpiderBot asset, but what if we have something much simpler? Here, we have a version of our SpiderBot made from primitive Unity objects, like what you might have in a prototype. With all of the game objects that make up the robot selected, we can simply right click and again select Unity Visual Search from the context menu. As the upload is processed, we can see the preview of our primitive prototype spider bot, which is generated. And once the process completes, we can see that Visual Search has discovered another set of potential spider bot assets for our game. And again, we can grab one and preview it. It's also possible to narrow down our search based on price, materials used, or polygon count. One important feature for prototyping and content creation directly in Unity is ProBuilder. ProBuilder allows us to create meshes directly in the editor without a separate 3D modeling package. These created meshes can also be used together with Visual Search. Here, we have a robot arm created with ProBuilder. If we right-click on the parent object and choose Unity Visual Search, we can attempt to discover something game-ready to replace our prototype with. Scrolling through the search results, we can see a number of results which have similarities but are not what we're looking for, including microscopes, buildings, and drills. But as we scroll down, we find a robotic arm which is more or less a perfect match for what we want. And again, we can drag in the preview and manipulate it to compare it to our prototype and decide whether it's the right fit for our game. As you can see, Unity Visual Search allows you to quickly replace your placeholder assets with game-ready art from the Unity Asset Store. It's available as a free download now to get it, click the link in the description below.